back again, Greg with Laser Models. We're going to go ahead and build the Schnook model step by step. I kind of started a little bit because I did a little exam, uh, explanation on how to uh, use a Q-tip on glowing, so we did part of one of the steps. But we're going to go ahead and finish the others. We've got more here. First thing to do though is put all your pieces in like, like piles. Um, once that's done, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the wheels. In step one, you're going to use this piece. You're going to use two of these. I've got one built already. Two of those will go there. Two of the wheels will go on this side. Two of the wheels will go on this side. So first thing to do, get your glue. Little dot on each side. Put it right there. Got to make sure I don't get too much glue on there. It's my wife's craft table. Plus it's wood. Uh, Using wood glue on a wood craft table might not be the best uh, combination, but it's a great place for me to be able to film without any disruptions. So just set those to the side. They're going to take time to dry. Now we're going to do the larger one. A little bit of glue on both of these sides down here. And try to get a little bit of glue on the top sides. A little bit of glue on one of the sides that way. And then just go ahead and set all the wheels on. And make sure you put the decorative sides out for it looks good when you're looking at it. I'm going to set those down real quick. Let me wipe this glue off my fingers. That's step one. Step two is going to be taking this piece. I'm going to take these four pieces. What we're going to do is we're going to build a seat. So, we're going to take these two pieces go in this way, the back of the seat's going to go in that way, and then when I turn this around for you can see, and then this piece is going to go ahead and get glued in right there. So let's take these all out. Just need a little bit of glue on this bottom here. Same with this side. On here, put a little bit of glue there. All those pieces there, it just slide it in place. And then glue down here, all those tabs, slide that in place. Now it's all glued together. You can take your paper towel if you want. You'll never see this, it's on the inside, but good habit of cleaning up after yourself. We're going to take these wheels now that we just built, and that's going to go in there. Now, you might want to wait a little bit of time to let that dry. Um, you use too much glue, it's going to take a while to dry. So that piece sets there, and if you notice, it's not really doing a whole lot. That's okay, it doesn't have to. Um, as we progress into these next steps, this will become secure, in position, and it won't shift anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to do step three. Step three, this piece slides in from... From, if it slides in from the side, be sure there is glue at all three connection points. You've got one point here, one point here, one point here. So on the model, it's going to be here, here, and here. So all I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue here, a little bit of glue there, a little bit of glue here. This piece is going to slide in. It's kind of difficult doing it, trying to Go side hand. By the way, it's going to sit like that. Now, last thing you want to do is walk away at this point in time um, because you don't have this exactly right. It's got to be adjusted. So, we're going to go ahead and take the pieces onto one side. You've got two of each one of these. So, take one, two, then take the one with the writing on the outside there and here. So these are the pieces on this side. So you're going to take this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. These are going to go on this side. Now there's only two connection points for these. Back here, up here, and along the model. So we're going to put a little bit of glue here. And then this particular piece, we're going to put glue 
on all these pieces. I'll set it back here and we're just going to kind of slide it in and together and push down. We're going to take the same thing on this side, do the same exact thing. Put glue there. Some glue back here. We're just sliding those into place. Our whole key right now is try to keep things as centered as possible. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to glue the rest of these on this side. So a little bit of glue on all these pieces. Slides in. You can either slide them that way or put them in from back here and slide around. Easiest thing is to do it from the outside end. And let's get some more glue back here. If you don't have a lot of glue on these back pieces, it doesn't matter because we're gluing this all together and it's all locking up. And then that piece is there. So let's do this side. Again, don't need a lot of glue. The more glue you use, the longer it takes for it to dry. Okay, now that we've got this all together, we kind of want to line up this edge with that edge. So, line it over a little bit, push this one over a little. So it's kind of lined up, you get a little tab on each side. All right, so that's step four. Step five, we're gonna glue the sides onto it. There's two. One side's got some etching on it, the other side doesn't. So take the side with the etching and put it on the side it belongs on. So that's gonna be this side, it's gonna set in that hole there and lock into these here. So you don't wanna go ahead and put glue on the inside of this piece. So as you look at it, it's going to glue all the way here, covers all the way back, doesn't come all the way to the top. So a little bit of glue there, glue there, there's that one. I'm going to do this side, same thing. A little bit of glue. Remember, no glue at this top area. Now, if you've got any glue, glue oozing out anywhere, like I've got a little bit here, just take a paper towel. It rubs right off. So there's that. So the next step is going to be sliding this piece through the back here. There is no glue used on this, and it's just going to slide through like that, okay? What this does is this piece has notches on it. When we start putting the back panels on, they're going to automatically line up by themselves. That's why it's tapered, okay? So let's put this back in here. Just like that. And let's go ahead and with the model facing forward, you're gonna want these curved towards the back. So you wanna look at this one and go, okay, that's the right one for this side because you got all the little color and stuff. So all of these 
are correct. So the first thing we do is we've got three of this style that's going to go on. So we want to go ahead and put some glue on this one. And we also want to put some glue, a little bead right there, because as we push this together, that's going to help start to attach that where it becomes one piece. And then on each, just need a little bit of glue, a couple spots. To go ahead and glue them on. Okay, this is the number three. Oh. Lucky it landed on the paper, not the wood desk. Okay. We have one of these. This is where the wheel's going to attach that we made earlier. So just a little bit of glue at the top, no glue down there. Now on this last one, I always put a little bit of glue right there in that little crease. Because that just helps hold everything together nice and tight. Again, do not need a lot of glue. If you notice, I've not really stopped to let anything dry other than these wheels here. So let's take this side, we're going to do the same thing. A little bit of glue down here. And a little bit of glue there. We'll just turn it sideways. Yeah. There we go. That way you can watch. Again, a little bit of glue. And if you happen to put the glue on the wrong side, let's say, for instance, I put glue here, and I go, oh, wrong side. So I'll just go and put a little bit of glue there. Don't worry about that, because now I've glued for the next piece. Now the next piece happens to be the one that the wheels support on. So I'll put that there. It's already got glue, so we're good to go. A little bit of glue. Now, all of a sudden, here we are, and I don't have a tab sticking out here, but I did over on this side. Well, what you want to do is kind of push that in a little bit, and it gives you a little bit of a tab, a little bit of glue. The reason for that is because some of this wood's thinner and thicker, and we have to adjust for the thinner wood. So a little bit of glue there. Remember, a little bit of glue on that little tab there. And then just kind of line these up a little bit. Push it together. And that's dry. Now, continuing in this step, we're going to put the little front pieces in. you got eight of these. There's going to be four on each side. Notice the curve goes down. The flat piece goes up. So there's an easy way of gluing these in bunch of glue on the tip there of that board. And you just take them and slide them in place. Okay, and then just kind of push them in. That puts the front onto it. So step eight is the last of the wheels. So a little bit of glue in those two spots. Set those there. Okay, on the propellers. If you want to do it correctly, you're going to put them reversed. They do not face the same direction, they face reversed because they spin clockwise and counterclockwise. Now you can either glue these on or not. What I do is I glue them on and what what works best, because you don't want to glue on the blades, is I just put some glue right on that top piece there. I set it down and push it in. I lift the propeller up and it just oozes the glue out. I leave that extra glue because that helps hold everything, having that extra bit. It helps absorb some of that distance. Same with this one. Put it in. Lift it up. They're free-flowing. So, 
got extra pieces, that's all trash. So anyway, there you guys go, that's the Chinook. Doesn't take that long to build, it's not a hard build, it's a fun one. Um, great for young kids starting out. Again, for them I would use the Q-tip and the foil, dab it, or if you got the small bottle with small tip, works great. Thanks a lot guys.